Hey developer and welcome to another Rock Cold World video. When we talk about logic intended to distinguish human from machine input, the captures are the solution. For the web forms nowadays, the Google Recapture project is usually the best solution to accomplish this task. However, in some projects you may need to rely on other tools to implement the captcha. If you can use Google products, then Bot Detect Captcha is the right choice for you. Bot Detect Captcha Generator is a non-stalking form security solution that uses a mix of measures that are easy for humans but hard for bots to prevent automated form posting. In this video, we will explain you how to install and implement this library in your Symfony 4 project. Bot Detect Captcha is a self-hosted PHP Captcha library. This means that there are no third-party servers involved, so the implementation is totally up to you. To install this library in your project, switch to the root directory of your project on the terminal and use Composer to install it with the shown command on the screen. This will install the latest compatible version of the library in your project. In the front end, in order to render the captcha, the library will need to request resources, like the images and the audios. You will need to register the routes that the bundle already includes in the roots.yaml file, as shown in the screen. As on every package or bundle, you will need to create a configuration file, which is usually defined in the YAML language. However, Bot Detect Captcha is a special case, as the configuration file will be written in PHP inside config slash packages directory of your application. The file is basically a condition that detects if the captcha class exists and returns an associative array, where every key is the name of a specific configuration that you can select later for the widget on the form type class. In this case, we will have a single configuration, namely example CAPTCHA user registration that contains the following settings. The idea is to customize every CAPTCHA wherever you need it from this file. Following the Symfony guidelines, when we create a form, we shall obviously have a form type associated to some entity. In this case, as we mentioned previously, we will have a registration form that allows the user to register a new user in the database. This means that the form will persist a user entity. The form contains the regular fields as first name, last name, email, and password. However, it should contain as well a new field, namely the CAPTCHA code. This can be simply added just like the other fields in the build form method of the form type. Note that the field, although it's not in the database, it should be added as a mapped field, just like it looks like in this example. You will add here the constraint to validate if the CAPTCHA has been correctly typed. If it's not, the error will be described on the form view of Tweak. As next, you will need to render the new field in your Tweak view. We rendered every field manually, so the CAPTCHA code will be rendered manually as well.
As we declared on the form type that the entity has a new field, namely CAPTCHA code, the entity should indeed have this property included. Otherwise, Symfony will throw an exception, warning you that the entity doesn't contain such field. Open your entity and add the new property with the respective gather and setter. Finally, you will be able to verify if the new field shows up on the form. As you can see, the new field adds the CAPTCHA. You can update it or use the audio if you want. This works perfectly, however, you will want as well to notify the user about the errors of the form, for example when the CAPTCHA has been not correctly typed. You can easily display the errors with a tiny change in the tweak view. This will allow the user to see the errors on the form and correct them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.